MPLSTE Fast Reload Node Protection. In this video, I am going to talk about again MPLS Traffic Engineering Fast Reload feature. But in this video, we want to talk about the node protection, another type of protection with the fast rerouting. You know that in the previous scenario, we learned about the protection of the link in the, for example, traffic engineering tunnels with a fast reroute feature. Okay. Now we will talk about the node protection. Node protection means we are protecting a router or a node. Look at this scenario. This scenario is so similar to the previous scenario, but here we have one new router, the router 4. Okay, You know that in previous scenario, we had uh, only a direct link between the router 1 and router 3. Now we have uh, another router, router 4 in this, uh, for example, link. And as you can see, we need to protect the router. Means we are protecting the router uh, if the router failed, we can uh, rewrote the traffic, uh, for example, in a fast, uh, with the fast action to the backup tunnel. This backup tunnel now is protecting the node, not the, uh, for example, a link. You know that the router 4 in this scenario connected to the two link. This means that when we are protecting the router 4, we also we are protecting more than one link, for example, two link. Okay. And also, let me to say that when you are protecting one node or one rotor, maybe you uh, in that time, uh, in the same time, you are protecting more than five link or four uh, or uh, six link. Why? Because all of the links connected to the rotor, to that rotor, to that node, are protecting also. Okay. Let me to talk about the detail of the fast reload node protection. But before the starting about the talking about the node Node protection. Let me to say that many of the uh, features, many of the parts of the our discussion about the uh, node protection, exactly same with the uh, link protection. But here also we have some another change, some uh, different uh, notation that we should uh, notice them, and after that we can understand the detail of the. Uh, for example, node protection. It's required and it's a requirement for this video that you learn about the fast reroute in the previous scenario or previous video. Because of that, now I can talk about uh, uh, with the base of the fast reroute link protection in this video. Okay, let me to start uh, talking about the node protection. As you know, here we have rotor 4 and we need to protect the rotor 4. This means that we have a tunnel, for example, from rotor 5 and to rotor 6, and this tunnel passes the rotor 4. Okay. We are worry about uh, we worry about the rotor 4. Why? Because if the rotor 4 fails, our tunnels uh, should also fail, and after that uh, we need to reroute the traffic to other for example, pass, uh, for example, uh, to this pass, R1, R2, and R3, and you know that normally, with the normal behavior of the traffic engineering, we need to wait for IGP convergence, and after that, we need to wait for RSVP signaling. We, we want to solve this problem. How we can protect the, uh, for example, rotor 4? Maybe you say, uh, and you think that all of the uh, process is same with the link protection. Let me to show you what is our problem in the node protection and after that we can solve the, uh, for example, we talk about how we can solve the problem. Let me to sh uh, follow the packet from one from rotor 5 uh, to the rotor 6 when the rotor 4 is available. You know that the in this example, when the rotor 4 is available, rotor 6 should advertise a label to rotor uh, three okay and after that the rotor three should advertise one label uh, to the uh, rotor four this is the pop label okay and after that this is the uh, labels that we are receiving from the rsvp you know it and then r3 should send a label 300 for example to rotor four and then rotor four should send the label 400 uh, to rotor one and also rotor one needs to send one label 100 to the 500 because of that now we set up uh, the uh, pass from the r5 to r6 and this is our tunnel okay we can send traffic directly 
uh, to the rotor 6 with this uh, for example label this is the traffic data okay we are sending the data with the label 100 to rotor 1 and rotor 1 can swap the label to the 400 you know it I'm, I'm going to review the topics because we need this knowledge and after that the rotor 4 should swap the label uh, to the 300 okay and finally rotor 3 should pop the label and send the to the data packet to the rotor 6 this is the normal behavior okay and you know that when we are configuring a backup tunnel assume that i'm going to sh uh, using exactly the same feature that we saw in the uh, link protection when we are configuring a backup tunnel in the plr okay a point of local repair we are uh, repairing this uh, for example outage okay we we learn one uh, for example label from rotor 3 look at here in here the rotor 3 again because this is the backup tunnel should send the pop label uh, to the rotor 2 as rotor 2 as you saw in the previous uh, video and after that rotor 2 uh, for example assume that should sending a label 200 okay to r1 when the link uh, when the rotor the, the rotor 4 failed assume that this rotor now is failed let me to show you with another color now this rotor failed okay because of that you know that with the fast rewrote feature r1 can rewrote the packet that is it is receiving to the uh, for example backup tunnel let me to show you this is the packet that we are rewriting to the backup tunnel uh, from the r1 uh, to the uh, for example r2 let me to show you with the uh, another color this is the packet data packet that is rewritten to label 200 okay received from the rotor 2 here we have a problem what is the problem you know that in the link protection r1 directly connected to r3 because of that r1 learned one uh, for example label from the r3 before the link failed in the link protection because of that r1 can uh, we could use that label received from the rotor tree okay and sending uh, the uh, for example rewrited packet with that label the label received from the merge point in the bottom label you know about it and you learned about it in the previous scenario here we don't have direct link with the rotor tree because of that r1 doesn't know the label of the rotor 3 for example 300 300 is advertised from rotor 3 to rotor 4 but rotor 4 doesn't advertise the 300 to the rotor 1 because of that rotor 1 cannot rewrote the traffic with the label of rotor 3 if the rotor 1 advertise or rewrote the traffic with the label 200 only this label should receive in rotor 2 and rotor 2 uh, after that uh, it should pop the label and now the packet received in the uh, r3 cannot be forwarded because the rotor 3 okay cannot see the label 100 in this uh, for example packet this is our problem in the uh, link node protection and uh, we need to uh, to find the solution for solve it you know that in the link protection okay in the link protection fast routing we use the next hop tunnel next hop tunnel means our tunnel okay are established directly with the next hop uh, let me to uh, review the uh, topics of the previous scenario here you know that in the uh, previous scenario we had r1 okay connected to r3 and then uh, also we had the rotor 2 this is the rotor 2 this is the previous scenario about the link protection and after that we had uh, for example a link between the rotor 1 and rotor 2 okay and also rotor 2 and rotor 3 okay in this uh, for, uh, function in this scenario we have a, a tunnel with directly to the next stop next stop is the rotor 3 okay you know that the backup tunnel should be established from this pass and the backup tunnel directly uh, goes to the next stop and also be directly connected to the to the next stop but here we have another condition in the node protection you are connected to the next rotor of the next hop okay look at here the r1's next stop is rotor 4 but our tunnel connected to the next rotor of the next stop because of that about the node protection okay about the node 
protection we have the next next hop tunnel okay next next hop tunnel or n n hop tunnel okay and here we have a problem what is the problem we don't know the label of the next next hop okay rotor and because of that we can send the traffic